Normally the Aorus engine software starts when you turn your computer on. It could take a minute or two uh, for Aorus engine to kick in. When it does, you will see an Aorus engine um, icon. You can see the logo here, what it looks like. You can see the icon down here, like right now, uh, it's not showing. So there was a Microsoft update, for example, recently, and for some reason now, um, it's not kicking in during startup. Even though, I'll show you here uh, under settings, apps we'll go to startup and you'll, you'll see it here it is here it's listed as auto run but that's the Aorus engine logo and I have it on for startup but it didn't kick in and for some reason once in a while that happens after uh, Microsoft updates so uh, what we're going to do is um, we're gonna start up the Aorus engine manually okay so there it is it, it kicked in so I'm just gonna minimize it for a moment here but you'll see it's still on there's the logo which you would normally see during startup so next what we're gonna do to correct this is we're gonna right click on the shortcut we're gonna go open file location and you're gonna come down and you're gonna click on this OCS scanner and run it it's the overstop overclock scanner application just double click it click yes and you'll see it's going to do some stuff. Okay, it's going to take some time for that to complete. And then when it's done, it's just going to say shutting down scanner reset. And then when it, when it says that, uh, you can just restart your computer. Okay, I restarted the computer and let's see. So that's exactly what I wanted to see. And it may take you uh, a couple of times of doing that. It took me two times. So sometimes each each time it uh, does that that scanning um, procedure, it might correct something, and then it might have to you might have to do it again so it could correct something else. I'm not sure, but it took me two times. It might take you uh, two times. It sometimes it works on the first try for me. But there you go, that's how to fix that. I also have a tutorial showing how to update your Aorus engine software. There's a link in the description for that video as well. I hope this helped you out.